Since Nvidia has announced their new flagship cards, everyone is dreaming about playing games at 4K resolution. So what does this mean for budget gaming PC building? Can you build a cheap enough PC to see if you can really take advantage of 4K gaming and save all that money to buy cheapest RTX 30 series GPU? which would be RTX 3070 and would be just a little bit faster than 2080 Ti. Well, we don't have RTX 30 series card at the moment, but what we have is 2080 Ti. And I've got cheaper CPU I could think of and it's Xeon E5 2689 and it is currently priced at $46, which is US dollars. And it has eight cores, 16 threads and turbo boost up to all the way 3.3 gigahertz. So let's see how it is going to perform at 1080p and as well as 4K. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because I will be getting RTX 30 series on this channel to review and it will be the most honest review on this channel because it is not sponsored in any way. I will be spending money out of my pocket. So let's get started. So for this build, I decided to just go with the combo because why not it was only 122 us dollars however it took a couple of months to finally arrive when i opened up the package i was so glad instead of sending me four sticks of four gig each they sent me two sticks of eight gig each which leaves the other slots for upgrade i'm not going to complain about it because it still is an awesome deal most amazing part is that it has m.2 slot so I bought M.2 SSD of HP brand, but also I was a little bit worried because I was not sure if this is going to even boot up. But surprisingly, everything worked nicely without any issues. The whole system costed me exactly 256 US dollars without the GPU, of course. This is a great system for the price. It can be used as workstation when you're done gaming with it. Firstly, I will tell you the reason of this crappy recording. It is just because whenever I try to use screen recording, for some reason, FPS are dropping between 22 all the way to 40. And even though the usage of CPU is around 70%, we still face this issue. But anyway, if you have got nothing running in the background, you get always 100 plus FPS. That is amazing. This is a really good deal for $46. And let's see how well it does in 4K. Okay, we are connected to a 4K HDR TV. This is a LG TV, as you can see everything is at ultra settings and we have got 4k resolution for rendering right now it is giving us as expected 60 plus frames this is what you see even on ninth generation cpus so let's see how well it does in warzone we're gonna drop soon so we're dropping and it is giving us 70 plus fps very impressive very impressive. I think it's almost the same what, what I'm getting at my i9 processor. I mean, I've got 9th gen i9, 9900K, and it gives me the same performance. I'm getting around the same FPS that that's what I see in my i9. I mean, a little bit more on i9. It could be, you know, always staying 100 plus or 90 plus. But, you know, 7 or 10 frames doesn't really make a difference. So next game that I tested was Doom Eternal. That's the game Nvidia used to brag about their RTX 3080. I mean we all know that 4K resolution is less stressful for CPU that's why we are getting such good frames. And we are getting like 100 plus frames at the moment. And if you just want to play games at 4K and just want to get the latest and greatest and cheapest RTX deal. In your budget PC, well, this CPU seems to have no match with its performance for the price. So save all that money to spend on good display and RTX 3070. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not complaining about my crappy recording, if you wish to explore more PC build options for budget in 4K, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.